Okay, now let's have a little introduction to goat and sheep. Yung goat, also known as Capra Hircus, yung sheep naman is Ovis Aries. Although medyo, medyo hawig sila in terms of size and features, talagang magkaiba sila na organism. Sa Philippines, mas marami yung nag-aalaga ng goat compared sa sheep. Now, yung goat, usually yan, raised no, for, for meat production and milk. All, and goat is also known as poor man's cattle. Kasi kung ano yung makukuha mo sa baka, actually makukuha mo rin doon siya sa, sa goat. Yung sa baka, meron tayong dairy production. Sa kambing din naman, meron din tayong dairy production. Magkaiba lang sila ng size, but eventually, yung products na pwede mo makuha sa cattle, which is a bigger animal, actually, pwede mo rin makuha dito. So, no, for just size comparison. Yung goat, ito yung reproductive values niya. Yung age of puberty is 7 to 8 months. Yung estrocycle, around 20 days. So, same-same din lang sila sa baboy. Gestation period is 148 days. Now, mayroong mga breeds ng goat na common sa Philippines. One is yung native. Paano malaman na native? Maliit. Tapos maliit yung yung ears, usually din maliit yung sungay nasa mga 15 kilos na siguro 10 to 15 kilos yung native na kambing now, itong anglonubian this is a very common breed also here in the Philippines, paano malaman ang anglonubian yung, yung goat one is itong malaking ears na droopy and Second is itong tinatawag nila na Roman nose. Kumbaga, matangos yung dito niya na part. Oh. Kumbaga, parang matangos yung ilong. Yung kambing natin dyan sa loob ng school dyan sa MSU, marami dyan yung may lahi na ang Glunubian. Next is yung Bower. As you can see, very stocky siya. So that's really good for meat type. Yung Bower, malaman mo na yan, yung, yan is Bower. If white yung body and brown yung so my head part. That's a color pattern ng bower. Sa dairy type naman, meron tayong sa anen. So kung sa baka, Holstein yung pinakamataas na production in terms sa gatas. Ito naman sa kambing sa anen. May mga farms dito sa Philippines na nag-aalaga nito and they collect milk. Kaya lang syempre, the, the production is not similar talaga sa baka. Mas maliit lang sa kanila. And yung mga farm machineries for milk collection sa kambing is hindi ganun ka readily available compared doon sa mga ginagamit sa cattle. So we have here another breed, which is a dairy type, itong alpine. So you're probably familiar with the milk na, na ang brand is alpine. So mayroong breed ng kambing, ideal for milk production, so alpine. Sa ship naman, meron tayo yung tinatawag na mga mutant type na mga breeds or it, ito yung mga breeds for meat production. By the way, baka malito lang kayo, meron mga lamb and mutant no, na, na terms. Actually, same lang yan sila na meat ng ship. However, nagbavary yung term depending on the age ng, ng, an, ng animal during slaughter. So, pag lamb, usually mga one year pa lang yan, or mas mababa yung age. Pag muton, this is mga two years and above. So, one breed is Dorper. So, as you can see, masyado siyang stocky. Maganda yung katawan. That's for meat type. 
Meron ding Barbados black belly. So, as you can see, black yung belly niya. So, ito is ideal din to for meat production. Pero yung Dorper and black belly Barbados, hindi to ganun talaga ka-common sa Philippines. Although, itong black belly Barbados nakakita na ako dito sa, sa Philippines. Now, meron din namang wool type ng sheep. So, by the way, sheep, primarily raised yan siya. One is meat, second is wool. So, first breed natin for wool type. This is the merino. So, as you can see, very thick yung fleece nila. So, ito, sinishear to on the onset of summertime. Kasi, syempre, painit na. So, tanggalin na naman to. So, by the time na mag-summer, kakapal din naman ang kakapal na balik itong fleece nila. And this will protect now the animal against cold weathers. Now, itong merino, actually, hindi ito makikita sa Philippines. Wala nag-alaga nito kasi pag ito, dalil mo sa Pilipinas, mamamatay lang to dahil sa heat stroke. Similar with this one, Rambouillet. So, hindi to sila ideal na breeds sa Philippines. I, I'm just showing it to you para lang meron kayong idea no, sa mga breeds na ginagamit for wool production.